Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hey, Danny Lambert here with Plush Republic. Uh, continuing on with the MailChimp uh, tutorial series. This is a very important video, and this one will be covering how to set up a custom domain uh, within MailChimp. And what this allows you to do is uh, send emails from your domain. So instead of having you know a various domain that's coming from, for us, it'll come from plushrepublic.com. And without this, uh, you would not be able to send from the domain of your website. So it's pretty simple to do. I mean, obviously the first steps to this are purchase the domain. Uh, I buy mine typically from GoDaddy, um, but there's a variety of places to buy your domain. So um, before you do this video, you need to actually own a domain name. Um, and most of you probably do because you have your corporate website. So then this is just the process of how you set that up. So behind me, I'm within MailChimp. I want to click right here and then I want to go to account. Within the account, I want to go to settings and then domains. From here, I want to verify a domain. And I'll do, what it asks you to do is put in an email address that has that domain, right? So I have daniel.lambert at plushrepublic.com. And I will send a verification email to my email address. Then when I come into my email, I should have this saying an account is trying to send email from your domain, just verify that the, the case. I'll go ahead and click verify domain, and then now we'll see that within here. You're not done at this point though, you just verified that you own that. Um, now you actually have to finish setting it up by authenticating your domain, which is what allows you to send from that domain. So when I go ahead and click authenticate, what it'll do is it'll present me with a DKIM and an SPF uh, little snippet of code here. Um, and this looks a little bit intimidating, maybe if it's your first time doing it, but it's actually pretty simple. All you have to do is go to your uh, DNS where you purchase your domain and set up a CNAME record and a text record. Um, so I will show you how to do that. I can't actually go through the whole process of saving it because this domain is already uh, linked to my other MailChimp account and this is just a demo, but I'll show you how you would do this uh, in my case within um, GoDaddy. So I'll hop over to GoDaddy. I will click into here manage domains we'll see all my domains that i have do 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 plushrepublic.com sorry i hopped into the wrong section here uh go to it plushrepublic.com and then manage DNS. And within here, I'll have all these various records, A records, DKIM, CNAME, all these various um, things that do different things within your inbox. So I need to set up a CNAME and a TXT. So I come in, I'll click CNAME, and then I'll just hop back to what they present me with. So I need to use K1, this little snippet here, and drop that into the host and then it points to this. I would put this in here. I usually leave this set to one hour and I would just hit save and that's all you'd have to do for the CNAME record. I obviously won't do this because I already have this set up but at this point you'd hit save and that would be set up. Let me just move this over, cancel that. So now you have your CNAME record set up and all you have left to do is set up your TXT. So I'll come in here click TXT. For host, I do the at sign that's just saying at my domain, uh, which is plushrepublic.com. And then within here, I would just take this snippet. I would drop it in here. I would leave it one hour and I would hit save. And then after I do both of those things, I would just hit authenticate domain. And this can take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. Um, so the way that you get there within your particular DNS may be different but the setup is almost identical uh, once you figure out where your DNS settings are. Uh, so hopefully this is helpful. And then in the following lectures, we'll be going into how to create lists, emails, templates, campaigns, and a variety of other things. So stay tuned, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.